What is up, DJ Army? Another one also known as John. SimCity 5 Beta Weekend. Really excited about this game, and I actually recorded this already with uh, a different recording software, and it didn't work, so I'm re-recording this. But and I wanted to show you the tutorial. I actually tried to start a city and couldn't start it right now, so let's do some tutorial action to try to teach you how SimCity 5 is going to work. Um, the biggest thing to know, I think, about SimCity 5 right off the bat is you're going to be playing with other players most of the time, uh, you know, if you're playing... Uh, with a lot of uh, other cities and so the biggest thing to know is the connection that your road has to the outside world because a lot of the services and um, jobs and you know residents and stuff can be shared between regions uh, so if you have an extra a lot of unemployed workers they'll probably can have their jobs shipped over to the next city over and you'll get tax money from them when they spend their income and the city over uh, next door will get income tax from the uh, from the commercial they have. So that's just kind of a neat thing to know so far. Um, let's see, I'm the mayor now. Let, uh, zoom in, yeah, you can zoom in and you can move. You can turn the uh, the map like this. That's kind of neat, turn your city. And you can also use the right mouse click to just move around, that's pretty cool. Um, so I like that. I kind of wish you could click around. Oh, you can, nice, okay. Right, let's go to the town hall, okay. Left click and drag the mouse to rotate the camera, all right. Find Town Hall and click the speech bubble. So, the way this works a lot, too, is that you're going to have to click uh, these speech bubbles to kind of figure out what people want and what they're doing. You may notice that all the protesters, our last mayor, left the city in a terrible state. We hope we can fix it. Sure, I can fix it, man. We need to connect to the local outside world. See, that's the biggest thing. And um, I was reading a tutorial about this by one of the devs, and he said the first thing you need to do is get this first lane built to the, uh, the outside world here. Roads are purchased from the road purchase map. Let's put a medium density avenue in to connect these two. Now, roads have two different style of road. There's the lower density roads, uh, which will get you just, they're cheaper, obviously, and they only get you up to, like, medium density, I believe. And the high density stuff, which will go from lower density up to higher as you improve that road, which is really neat. Um, as your city grows, you can control traffic and building density by choosing which roads to lay and by upgrading your existing roads. All right. Uh, another thing to know is, nice, yeah, we have a connection. Now construction trucks can build new houses and residents can move in. Once they get settled, our residents can use the highway to commute. Yep, this is the, that's the whole point. You can also trade goods and different, lots of different stuff, which is a lot different than the old Sims, the other SimCities that have come out to date. That's, uh, here's the RCI graph, which is pretty obvious. There's demand for more houses in your city. People want to move in. Cool, yeah. Sometimes your residents will ask for help. This guy says, hey, you decide where the Sims can build their houses by creating residential zones. Sims will build their houses and move into new residential zones themselves. Could you zone more residential areas? My bro brother Cliff wants to move in, but I don't want him living with me. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> pretty common. So come here. You can see the different residential zones here. We're going to click, click residential. And you don't have the... Uh, there are, is no low density, medium density, high density anymore like there was in SimCity 4 because the roads determine the density of your buildings. Um, so by building the lower density roads, and again, at what level of upgrade those roads are at will determine the density of the buildings that are going to be in your area. So if you have like dirt roads, which is the lowest form of low density road, you'll start out with like shacks and little cra uh, pretty crummy housing and stuff. But as you upgrade that road, those houses will become a little bit better and a little bit uh, more dense until you get into the high density stuff, which you'll have actually probably have to switch that road out and uh, you'll get higher density buildings. You need to connect to the highway. Yep, you need to connect to the highway and you need to build residential areas. Sims will occasionally share their thoughts with you. This will help you gauge how your Sims think you're doing. Hey, Mayor, really cleaning things up. Yep, nice, very nice. Well, Sims are moving to Summer Shoals, but they won't want to live in this. Live near this. Let's bulldoze that rubble. Okay. Bulldozing. Basically, rubble will uh, add fire hazard, and people are not going to want to live there. So that way, you can clear it out and, and make room for more buildings. That's kind of neat. I guess you're going to have to manually uh, mess with your rubble. I know in other Sim cities, the rubble would clear out when people moved in automatically, so... Now construction crews will build shops on this block and land values will improve. 
Okay, so there's my city. I really like the UI in this uh, new SimCity 5. It's very crisp and clean, and not a lot of stuff in your face and taking up you know all the real, real estate here. It's very just really easy to work with and taking up what I think is nice is the small amount of real estate. And it just gives you a couple points of information uh, for just general play. Click on the population panel. So, but you know, meat and potatoes of SimCity is graphs and number crunching, really. Uh, it, it's one of the more, the reason that makes it a little more complicated, but also one of the beauties of this game is because it's something you can't figure out in five seconds. Uh, it does require a little bit more thinking, and I think uh, that they've you know, people say that that kind of game is n no longer desired, but with the massive amount of people that want to play SimCity 5 and are looking forward to it, obviously there's still a lot, a lot of uh, uh, demand for these kind of games. So that's awesome. Looks like the residential population has increased. This panel helps you track your city's growth and overall wealth. So you can see it is going up a little bit. Here's January. It's not finished yet. It also shows you uh, local residents versus visiting residents, and that that's kind of a big deal as far as ma mainly like casino cities and stuff. You want lots of tourists. I don't know if this is actually tourists or people visiting or like commuting. I'm not sure. So, population source, population wealth, low wealth or low. Okay, cool. Here's some detail if you want a number crunch. Neat. There's a factory manager who wants to talk to you about bringing more jobs. This factory is my pride and joy. Sure, it's polluting, but we're job creators. Yeah, you hear that a lot. New residents in town means new workers, so this town needs some jobs. Residents won't want to live next to factories, but there's still plenty of room for more industry. Okay, this does make a big a point here that they're not really telling you about. It's that some cities can specialize and just be a total of suburbs, and they have all residents, really, and their residents work in other cities around the region. Or you can do it the other way around. You have lots of factories, lots of um, manufacturing and stuff, and so you know people are, are commuting to your city to work. And both cities make money that way, so it's not like, you know, one guy is going to, you know, if you have uh, all the jobs, you're going to be at a better advantage than some other guy who has all the residents, because you should be making similar amounts of money. I think that's how they want it to work anyway. So we're going to put some res uh, industrial in right here. You can see the wind right there. That's very important. You don't want to build. You can see the wind is blowing, looks like southerly as far as the map's concerned in this uh, viewpoint. So I wouldn't want to build. Let's see if I can escape out of this. Uh, no, I can't. That's fine. I wouldn't want to build industry like over here because it's going to blow the pollution right across all my sims. They're going to hate that. So that's also something that you need to take, in, take into consideration uh, is the wind direction, which is, again, really cool. Adding lots of complexity to a game, I think, makes it have long longevity. And people really are kind of not impressed with the amount of longevity that more recent games have had that have come out recently. Nice work. Remember, zone industrial to attract factories. Factories lower land value, but an industry will create goods and make your city grow. Oh, that's also something, if you create a lot of extra goods, you can sell them to other cities that might need them. Like, a city might need coal. You're going to see that coming up. We're going to... Uh, commercial zones are where your sims shop and work. All right, let's build some more here. Like that. That was easy. Remember the zone to zone commercial to attract shops. Residents spend the money and the money they earn from their jobs at shops, which makes them happy. Cool. You don't have to wait all day for business to develop. Okay, you can change the speed. Now, this is the part I think is weird about an online game. If if I'm if I'm running a city next to Bob and Bob's using Rabbit all the time or Cheetah, uh, and I'm using the you know uh, what is this one going to be Turtle? How is that going to work out? Like, I, it's going to be hard to compete. People are going to be running in Cheetah mode all the time to compete on the leaderboards, and there will be leaderboards in this game, which again is another cool thing I think to this game. So now that you've got more business opening, let's look at your treasury. Now, okay, so I've got lots of money per hour now. That's awesome. Oh, here's where you see your, your city's revenue. This number shows how much money you're getting per hour. This turns red. You know you're in trouble. We're looking good so far. Yeah, we're about to not look so good. With Sims moving in and your business is opening, you should see an, average, an increase in the city income. Let's have a look at the city's books. Again... Nice, low-profile, general UI, but you can click to see a very large uh, and easy-to-read UI. I think this is great. Uh, you can see there are bonds, too. You can uh, take loans and stuff like that. One of the differences here is the ta there's a tax rate for everything, pretty much. You know, the tax rate applies to all areas of your budget, which is, is a, a difference from SimCity 4, but, and that's fine. Here you can see, all, basically you change what your city is wanting to do on your based on your buildings more than you're taxing people right here. 
Keep your income higher than your expenses to stay in the black. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I think we're going to have about to have a problem with uh, some of the protesters. Oh, industrial money. That's nice. Some of the protesters have been grumbling that taxes are too high. We have enough smolings for now. We can placate the masses by lowering the taxes. Okay, cool. Everyone who's upset about taxes should now have one less thing to complain about. Neat. Eva's been clearing her throat all day. I think we need water here. Don't, another big difference between SimCity 5 and, and uh, SimCity 4 and other SimCities is all the power and water and everything and sewage and everything is, is uh, basically built into your roads. So you don't have to manage multiple networks. Um, some people might not like that. I think it's okay. It lets you focus on what is my city trying to do, what's important to my city, uh, instead of you know managing micromanaging thousands of different networks or whatever. I don't know. I think it could still be good. I don't think it's a something to say doom and gloom about right away. We used to have a water tower, but it was destroy, destroyed in a storm just a few months back. The town's getting thirsty, but we don't have we don't like the idea of relying on another water tower. So they want to uh, get some water from the region. So this is really cool to show you basically how you can interact with other um, cities. So here's the region view. It's really cool. There's a, that's a, a, a global work project for this region, which is really cool. We can, all the cities can work on one project. That's really neat. This is the region view where you can see all the cities and great works in the region. This is a great works area. So that's another local city near me. This is your city, Summer Shoals. Each city in a region can be run by a different mayor, or one mayor can run them all. Now that's neat. You can run multiple cities. I didn't know that. Each reason, region has a great work site. Several of the cities in the region can collaborate on a massive project. That is really cool. This airport brings in lots of tourists. I don't see an airport, but that's fine. Off in the distance is Lucky Shores, the nearest big city. Their mayor, Chet Keno, Kino, has a <laughs> Kino, nice, a specialized Lucky Shores in gambling. It's a great quite bustling tourist hot spot. Lucky Shores has way more water than they need, so let's buy some of it. Okay, so you can see somebody set up, Lucky Shores has set up a little thing saying, hey, we have too much water, uh, anybody in the region wanna buy some? And you say, yeah, I wanna buy some. Here's probably where in the beginning you're gonna wanna see, check to make sure that buying it is cheaper than building it yourself. Uh, as you make, more, uh, make your city more specialized, I would imagine, that you're going to want to get rid of your own stuff like that and start buying uh, in the market. That's it. Now we're buying water. All the water we need from Lucky Shores. As our water needs grow, we'll automatically buy the water we need as long as Lucky Shores can supply it. Cool. Neighboring cities can sell or gift resources or services to each other. We should set it. We set now, but let's head back to Summer Shoals. All right. That sounds good. All right. There it is. Water's flowing under the roads. Water's essential for your cities. Without water, businesses will close and Sims will move away. Yep. Lucky Shores helped us with our water problem. Now Eva is dealing with a power shortage. We can solve this ourselves, she says. Your Honor, we have a coal pl plant, but the previous mayor turned off coal deliveries. Now we've run out of coal and the plant has shut down. This is really cool. So if you, every city has local resources, like a coal deposit or an oil, oil deposit or stuff like that. So you can specialize your city in like mining coal and supply coal to other cities' power plants, and they'll have to buy it from you, which is really cool. Since we've connected to the highway, we can just turn on, turn on coal deliveries and we can start buying coal. Okay. This is the coal power plant that provides power. It works well, but we're out of coal, so the city doesn't have any power. So neat. There's a little interface here. Tells you how many megawatts you're doing, how much coal you have, except local coal, but we aren't producing any, so there's none. Uh, current price is 6,000 simoleons, except the global coal deliveries. Air pollution generated none for now, anyway. There you go. This coal truck is arriving to deliver coal to our power plant. Cool. So, again, another way cities can interact. Now, it might not work perfectly in SimCity 5, uh, possibly with more patches, and I'm sure they're going to do um, some other stuff with it. It's going to get a lot better. Um, this is just the first of uh, EA trying to make a more interactive game on multiplayer mode since that's a lot hotter topic than just single player. I like single player too. I'm not saying single player is dead or anything, uh, but but uh, it's nice to have the multiplayer aspects as well. It's pretty cool. So you can see power is going out now to the city. Very cool. Uh, another th cool thing that they haven't talked about is roads. There's no grid anymore in SimCity 5. There's no grid. Uh, you can build roads that are curvy if you want, and basically the zones just go along the roads. So you're going to want to build your roads with enough distance to, to get to the highest capacity 
um, buildings that you're expecting is all you really have to do, which I think is really cool. It opens up the city to different shapes and different, um, you know, ways to build a city. They're not, not going to look all the same, and you don't have to stick to a grid, which you can see over here if you can go to it. This is a curved area. It looks really neat. I like it. Uh, so, cool. Also, cities without power will stop working and Sims will abandon them. So remember, plop a power plant down or or you can buy the power from your neighbors. So that's cool. You can see there's a connection over here to the region. Now, we already happen to have a coal plant, so we don't need that. But if you didn't, you could. We're no longer in the dark, but she's worried about crime. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. I'm up to my neck in complaints and calls. We've had to close the police station to save some money. Well, we're still doing good on money, so we should be fine. If you ask me, they're coming in from Lucky Shores, but it's impolite to speculate. Let's order that. Let's get that police station up and running. So what you can do is open or close a building just by clicking this button right here. Nice. We have 20 jail cells. You can see how much money it's costing per month. There's crime in progress. <laughs> some look Danzians. And I know for all those new to my channel, I said that wrong, but that's kind of a local inside joke with me and my subs, so. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't know it was denizens for a long time, so. Crime in progress. Get the crooks, cops! Yeah! Bust them! What's that smell? Uh-oh, trash. Let's get rid of that. The town stinks! It's all the garbage! We've been rely relying on Lucky Shores to provide garbage collection, and it's been a while since it's been collected. I gave Mayor Kino a call over there and convinced him to send a truck. We don't have full coverage, but the occasional garbage truck should help. You should check to see that the truck is coming. Okay. Here it comes. Neighboring cities can share system coverage for city services. That's another cool thing. Uh, like, say, you know, we just turned on our police station. So if we have extra capacity, we can uh, offer our services to other uh, cities and they, they'll pay us for it, which is kind of neat, too. So, I think it'd be kind of funny. What if you had a police town? Like, all you did was provide cops. That'd be funny. Neighboring. Okay, so select the truck. Garbage. Truck from Lucky Shore. Zero to five tons. Picking up garbage. Nice. We're fortunate that Lucky Shores has provided us with one of their garbage trucks. Oh, so you can do it one at a time. Looks like they... Is there... That's shooting or something? Anyway, there's a... Uh... Can provide, I guess you can provide it one car at a time or one truck at a time. That's nice. Here's the garbage menu. Here you can see the Lucky Shorts provides our coverage. Cities can make bonus income by providing their services. Yeah, like I was just talking about here. Nice. We don't need our garbage dump thanks to Lucky Shorts' help. Every morning, one of their garbage trucks will show up to take the garbage away. Still seems to be a foul smell. What could it be? Well, of course, it's sewer. Oh my god, nice. Sewage is pulling in the pipes. That is nasty. If it doesn't have somewhere to go, it'll start by backing up in our backyards. Yeah, that is really gross. We do not want that. Sewage outflow pipe. Okay, let's just pump it all over the ground somewhere. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Alright, so let's select it, and you can see I don't have any upgrades, so I'm just going to get this. I don't want to put, put it right here. It's going to pump nastiness all over in this area. Let's put it there. Ugh, look at it all go. Every system has data maps that graphically show the information about your city. Let's see what impact this is having. That is just gross. You can even hear it pumping. And you can see it spewing out just onto the ground. It's cool. Ground pollution. So, pollution. The buildings that are polluting. Okay, clean buildings, heavy polluter. This is obviously heavy polluter as, long, as well as coal plant. Uh, bad groundwater. Yeah, I wonder if this expands over time. I bet you it does. Interesting. Uh oh, looks like you're needed, Mayor. Oh, fire! Help! There's smoke coming from my neighbor's house. I think it's on fire. We need a fire station. All right, let me build one. So this is pretty normal, just like every other Sim City. See, you can't build in the middle. You have to build against a road. See, on a snap point. So that's kind of cool. Twenty thousand to build this. Let's put it right there. That's a good spot. As soon as your fire station is staffed with firefighters, firefighters will hop on a truck and put that fire out. Cool. So they should show up anytime and douse it. Nope, there's that garbage truck. He's probably not going to do it. Oh, so you can see him going to every house. That's cool. There we go. <laughs> That's funny. 
It seems there are less protesters, but some of them are shouting about schools now. Uh oh. Here's one of the best parts about this game. I'm really excited about this piece, about this upgrade to the game. We've got a new problem that I think you can solve. Some of our parents are concerned that our schools are overcrowded. We can't teach all the kids without more classrooms. If we don't educate our students, our local industry will stay in the dark ages. Just like SimCity 4, you need to have educated Sims to run your more important uh, factories and maybe some more educated stuff. So, modules. This is one of the coolest things about this game. This school can be expanded on with modules that add on to this building. Uh, it's not a building itself. It's a module. You can see a cruise ship coming in in the background there. That's kind of neat. Uh, so let's get let's get right going to that right here. So let's see. Once we click once to select a grade school, closed now hiring. So it's costing us 400 an hour school hours. That's fine. Students in class. Well, there's nobody there. Buses too. So we don't want to turn this off. Let's click to edit this building. So you can see we go into like an edit mode, and there's all the different modules you can select. Uh, this one is. 10,000 simoleons, 200 simoleons per hour, capacity 200. I don't, it won't show me the other ones, but that's fine. That's, that's cool. Classrooms available four. So we're adding on a classroom. We can add four classrooms to this school. And that's just like in real life, they expand the school. You don't just build another school right next to it. You expand an existing school. So that's really cool. Commute fewer crimes, cause less fires, and get injured less often. Nice. So, yeah, zero people. That's just probably because it's the uh, tutorial. Kids living in each house can go to grade schools for primary education. Be sure that schools have enough capacity. Yep. Neat. All of your sims have their own houses. Go to work and try to make themselves happy. You can click on any sim to see what they're doing. Let's check out one of these kids. Burning off some energy. Came from the city park. Nice. Cyrus Doherty. Cool. So that way you can see kind of what your sims do every day. Looks like we got some cops and fire engines there. Improvements have really turned the city around. Let's have a look at just how happy everyone is. And I'm still making money per hour. That's the real thing right there. Gotta make sure you're making some money per hour. Here's the happiness grid. Looks like all systems, just like all systems, government has its own set of data maps. The happiness map shows how happy your residents are. Nice. So let's click this. Oh, cool. So that's a really interesting map. And obviously the maps have gotten a lot a big upgrade. I like this view a lot better. Um, so sad, all the way up to, it looks like we're at level 4 happiness here, really cool. Wow, not perfect, but certainly much better than before. Sims are, hap are happier now that you've provided basic utilities and services. Commercial density, oh, it shows you density too, oh, neat. Okay, I like that. So we're going to close that. On menus throughout SimCity, you'll find these information icons. Very cool, these information bubbles will help with the menu you find them in, in case you get stuck. So City Hall allows you... To set taxes, each city hall upgrade grants you a choice of one department module. That's cool. Many, okay, so you can even... So this game is very... I think it's more compl complicated than people think. I think it's more complex uh, than people give it credit for. They've just changed a lot of the way SimCity works compared to the previous SimCities, which I think is good. It's not so much just number crunching. and Because it's, it's just a lot of fun to... Uh, specialize your city and think of new projects for your city and how you can work with other people. I think this is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to SimCity 5, and that's why I was like, "Look, this is going to be an awesome game. I can't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play this game on my channel." Uh, so yeah, if if you liked SimCity 5 and you liked this video so far, click like and favorite and subscribe and stuff. This isn't the video's not over. We're not done yet. I just wanted to put that plug out there. Watch my SimCity 4 series. Subscribe to see SimCity 5 when it comes out March 5th. I'm going to be hitting it hard. So it looks like most of the protesters have disappeared now. Eva's got one last favor to ask. Uh, also, me and, and one of my uh, YouTube buddies will be doing a region that we're going to be uh, partnering up with other subscribers and stuff. Probably doing some uh, some contests to release the area to the subscribers so they'll know where it is and stuff. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we're going to try to do it that way so you guys can play with us. That should be kind of fun. Lucky Shores has been a good summer, good for Summer Shoals. Many of our workers commute there to work in Lucky Shoals casinos. Lucky Shores is quite a bustling gambling city. You should go there and check it out. All right, cool. Let's go to the region map. I like how there's a day and night cycle, too. That's really cool. The workers menu can show how many workers are commuting. Okay. Summer Shoals... What? Summer Shoals is open low-wealth jobs. Use the region wall to ask your neighbors to zone for low wealth residential. Oh, neat. Okay. There are data maps from region 2. Click the low, mel low wealth workers map. So, we got 151 local total low wealth workers commuting. 
open we have lots of open low wealth jobs okay so total low wealth workers total low wealth jobs okay so we have we only have this many workers oh they must be commuting from from this other city thousand workers commuting away huh they must be commuting for the higher jobs unemployed low wealth workers okay we have no unemployment anyway workers commuting so they must be commuting for the higher paid jobs and we just have these low paid jobs so okay that's what we need to do let's go check out lucky shores see how uh chet kino has laid out his city needs simoleons yeah no kidding every place needs that Twenty-two thousand people nice tells you when they last played too to see if they uh, are languishing in their city this is pretty neat so far really really like this game gonna be playing the playing the hell out of this thing it's gonna be awesome nice city huh lucky shores is a tourist hotspot there's a strip of casinos along the cliffs high rose hotels and loads of mass transit nice looks like he's got a solar power plant too nice I like that take some time to look around the city Mirakinos made Lucky Shores a gambling city. Specialized cities can focus on improving their cities to help the region. Nice. Click OK when you're ready to move on. So here's Sci-Fi Casino. Losing 14000 a day in profit? It's because nobody's there. That's why. Okay. Sleek Casino. So he's got a lot of casinos over here. What's this? Sewage problem hurts sales a bit. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you want hotels and stuff so people can stay in your casino town. Cool. So it's neat that you can check out other people's cities, especially if um, gambling headquarters. See, that's what helps them be, be a gambling city. That's what says I'm specializing specializing in gambling. Um, and you can get oh oh, and that's neat. Progress toward the next upgrade. Neat. Oh, that is cool. See, they got a lot of stuff that's cool in here. Any American elect to specialize in improving both their city and help the region, have a look around Lucky Shores. Click OK when you're ready. Now let's click this. Okay, there's no more I can see from it. But that's cool. It's a level one. So that's cool. You can like upgrade your city and kind of get experience, I guess. Oh, man, what is that? It's Ural Mountains. Oh, my God. There's a meteor storm. <laughs> Not at all appropriate right now, is that? This is taking some time, guys. Zoom in, zoom out. What's this up here? Leaderboards. They also have leaderboards. It's pretty loud even though I have it turned down. So it looks like this... Oh, I have 2 million simoleons. I must be making a ton of money. Or is this Lucky Shores' money? It could be. I don't know. Dang, dude! Look at that! This totally got crushed! It didn't go all the way down, though, huh? Rebel bulldoze causing too much sewage. Dang, dude! Oh, no! We better get out of here! Click, and, click to get out. Summer Shoals. So this is pretty much wrapping up this tutorial I'm pretty sure last time it was about 30 minutes I'm really excited about this game and uh, I'm gonna be keep trying to get into the beta weekend uh, because right now they're having load issues which is the whole point of the, what they're doing this weekend is to test the load on their servers uh, because this game is an all online game Ooh, that was close you just talked to Eva um, so I'm gonna be generating my own city in the next couple of episodes and I hope you like this tutorial click like comment and favorite and stuff let's see we're not done yet though Hope there wasn't too much damage. I sent a fire truck over there as soon as I heard. Nice. You've done a remarkable job re rejuvenating this area. Oh, yeah. See, that was his city. Because look at mine. The happiness is different. All this stuff is different. Barely making any money right now. I think I could take it from here. Okay, cool. You should start a very start on a fresh region and build your own city from scratch. Nice. So that's what I'll be doing in the next couple episodes. Please like, comment, and favorite if you like this video. And share it with your buddies that are going to be playing SimCity 5. I'd really appreciate that. And just to let them know what's going on. Uh, this is uh, that's kind of why I did this tutorial to show you guys kind of how to play this game and what's what, uh, what some of the things are that are coming in this game. So let me know what you think. Later, dudes.